Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, back with another action figure review. And today I have a throwback review for you of this Sci-Fi Revoltech number 39, Spider-Man from Spider-Man 3. So there's the front of your box. Side has a picture of the figure. Pretty much says the same thing as the front. And this figure is from 2011, so this is the 10 year anniversary of this figure. The other side just gets into those Revoltech joints. There's the top, the bottom. The back shows off the figure, its accessories, and some of the poses you can get it in. Then the front does open up. On the flap you have some pictures of Spider-Man and some pictures of that black suit Spider-Man, which I don't know if Revoltech ever did that black suit Spider-Man. Kind of looks like they were hinting at it there if they didn't. And also behind that flap it does reveal the actual figure and some of its accessories. But I'm going to take a second now, get this figure out of packaging so we can have a closer look at it. So there is the Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man out of packaging. For 10 years it sat in that box and it's finally free. We'll have a look at the accessories now. And the first one I'll show is the biggest one, this big wall you get to pose your Spider-Man on. Pretty cool accessory if you ask me. I wish more figures came with accessories like this actually. But to get this wall to stand, you get this V. You have to plug it into the bottom and that allows your wall to stand with a pretty good solid base on it. And for the rest of your accessories, you get this box to keep your accessories in. Well, most of them anyway. Obviously, this ain't going to fit or the wall ain't going to fit. But you get this very long web with the large webbing at the end. You get this Spider-Man nameplate. It says Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3, 2007. Hard to believe it's been that long ago. You get these pegs, and these pegs are actually for those holes that was on that wall. And that's so you can peg his feet into them. Then you get these web holding hands. You get these web shooting hands, and then you just get some open palm hands. Oh, and you also get this stubby little web here. So that's all for his accessories. Now I did get one figure out to compare him to, and it is the Revoltech Mark I Iron Man. Revoltech nailed it on this Mark I Iron Man. Still one of my favorite figures. So that's all for accessories and comparisons. Now we'll have a closer look at the actual figure. Now I've looked into buying this figure a couple times, but it's so widely knocked off that really all you can find is the knockoff of it. But a buddy of mine, shout out to Michael, found a legit version of it, sold it to me for a really good price. So here we are. Some really great detail on this figure. Again, I don't think the knockoff is this clean looking with all this webbing, because this webbing is all raised on it and painted. Probably not real easy to accomplish. Yeah, overall detail on the figure is just really great. I like this metallic like blue textured parts on the suit. The spider on the back looks good. Spider on the chest looks good as well. Yeah, overall just a really clean paint, really good detail, good looking figure. I love that mask on this one. And on the articulation on this Spider-Man, you're going to have those Revoltech joints everywhere. So he will look up nice and high with those Revoltech joints. He will also look down really good as well. These Revoltech joints are also ratcheted, you can hear them. So his arms will ratchet up that high. They'll also spin around no problem. Now if you've ever had a Revoltech figure, you know those joints will come in and out very easily. You can always just push them back into place. Sometimes they'll get off center and you have to work with them to get them back the direction you need. These elbow joints, I like how they did half blue, half red to match up with the actual costume. And those elbow joints will go a little over 90. His wrists are pegged in and on one of those joints. Midsection will crunch forward nice and far, but you are left with a gap in the back. And the same when you go back, you can see that gap in the chest, which I was looking. And you could probably shave that down and this peg down some and get that a little more flush down on the midsection if you wanted. Now, I don't think I'm going to do that, but I do think that would be an option. And down on the waist, there is another Revoltech joint, but it's kind of hard to get that one to move without just tearing it apart. So you can get some rotation there, but you can't really get it to go forward or backward. 
You can get his legs to kick forward nice and far. Get him to go back pretty decent, but again, you get a gap up front there. They'll also kick out to the side pretty decent. You get a upper thigh swivel, decent bend at the knee. Feet will hinge back that far. They'll hinge forward that far. And he actually has some toe articulation. So pretty standard articulation for that Revoltech system. But now I'm going to pose this Spider-Man figure up on that fancy wall diorama they included. And we can wrap this review up. So there he is on that wall about to web off. That sounds dirty for some reason, web off. Very cool figure, glad to have it in the collection. Not really a lot of Raimi suit Spider-Man figures out there to collect that I've seen. So definitely happy to have this one. But that is all I have for this throwback review. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. My man's got some plump sausage fingers.